Uh, what's up, y'all? This is Akeo, the MC from the Jurassic 5. I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Gaz supporting us with this knowledge, rhythm, and understanding. Your help is so much needed. Thank you for your support, putting this together and facilitating this. Yo, this is something different. Hope that you are listening. Hope you pay attention. I'm from the skill district. Hi, I'm Chris Sharma. I'd like to talk to you guys about the Gas Ford Focus. This is a studio we made. Mad Mike built it. Gas helped us put this together and realize a vision of recording bands and musicians where they feel comfortable, not where a studio already exists. We can go to them and capture their music and capture their emotions live an amazing thing. Thanks to Gas for that. You may want to be a rapper and you got nice words and you, you write really well, but you might can't deliver your words. So most of the time you're like, oh, man, I might just quit and stuff, but you were a real good descriptive rapper and stuff. You could just become a writer. You can write books. You can write movies, you can write plays. So you don't necessarily have to look at yourself as just a rapper. You just, you look at yourself as a writer that happens to rap. We try to open up other angles and try to let people see that there are other jobs that exist in this industry that you can just be as famous or have a lot of big fortune. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. to the fame. I, I never was. That was never my intent and it's still not. I really want to share my music with the world. That's really what I want to do and I think music is so powerful. It's a release for some people and it's, it's therapy for some other people and through YouTube I've gotten some amazing comments from viewers saying that they um, just watching my videos and listening to my music has helped them through something in life. One thing in particular that I do that I love, I love to yodel. You can't yodel in a sad face. It's just, it's, it's yeah. such a happy thing. It's such, and I love it. You get to share an emotion. It's something unique. It's kind of like, like a little bit like beatboxing, right? Because wow. it's, it's very unique. It's very, it can be very fast. It has lots of different. Um, so you can, can, can you yodel with some beatboxing? Probably. I've never tried. I've been always listening to classical music like Beethoven, and I just got really interested in uh, everything and all the music and I just fell in love and a middle school I decided to play and from there everything turned out really well and I hoped to pursue maybe in a musical career. Doing it now for nine years um, I started first here in the valley doing high school functions, proms, homecomings. Right after high school um, I got picked up by a radio station called Power 106. Started working out for the street team. About two and a half years later I got the call to get put on the radio. Did you ever think that you would be DJing in front of me? Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> beautiful, right? I felt like I had something to add. 
to the crew as far as music and, and, and scratching. When I met Adam Yob, rest in peace, my brother, rest in peace, who put me on, put, put me in the band, I used to send him DJ Battle videotapes. And, um, and when he wasn't home, I would leave scratch messages on his answering machine. <laughs> this be like, I, I left like six different messages. I remember my little sister came, knocked on the door, and I was in my bedroom, and she goes, the Beastie Boys are on the phone. Wow. <laughs> wow. With any type of sport, they always taught you that you should follow through. You playing baseball, follow through with your swing. You got, you playing football, you follow throwing the ball, follow through with your, with your pass. Your basketball shot, follow through. You see basketball players on the ball like this? They're following through. A lot of times we don't follow through with the contact. Like we'll make contact, bah! But then if we would have swung all the way, then the ball would go further and stuff. But a lot of times we're just happy we're making contact. Bah! Oh, I met such and such. I met such and such. And you know, you're excited about who you just met as opposed to being persistent about meeting that person and then actually going through what it is to actually make that deal happen. It's so much fun having all you guys here in our house. And we take this for granted. If we walk through here all day, every day, and to watch you guys look at the stuff that we created, it's a real joy for us. And I just want to thank everybody for coming out. Just thank everybody.